Hey everybody, it's Sam over at Digilent here to discuss our newest entry-level FPGA system board, the Basis 3. This board was designed around the Arctic 7 FPGA and is fully supported in Xilinx's cutting-edge design environment, Favato. Let's go ahead and start by looking at some of the improvements we've made to this edition of the Basis line. We've doubled the amount of GPIO connected to switches and LEDs. We've also rearranged the push buttons into a gamepad configuration and added an additional center button. We've replaced the PS2 connector on the Basis 2 with a USB HID connector. Another feature added by the USB HID port is that you can now configure the FPGA from a USB thumb drive. We've also replaced the 8-bit VGA with a 12-bit VGA. We've replaced the 1x6 PMOD connectors found on the Basis 2 with 2x6 PMOD connectors. This doubles the amount of expansion I.O. as well as increasing compatibility with existing PMODs. Finishing up our walkthrough, we land on the JTAG programming circuitry. This new device allows for 15 times greater programming speeds and also offers a general purpose UART interface for data transfers. Now let's talk about the brain of the Basis 3, the Arctic 7 FPGA. This incredibly large chip is a marked improvement over the chip used in the Basis 2 and offers 20,806 input lookup tables, 41,600 flip-flops, 1,800 kilobits of fast block RAM, five clock management tiles, 90 digital signal processing slices, and an on-chip analog to digital converter. Perhaps the most exciting aspect of the Basis 3 is that it was designed exclusively for use with Vivado, Xilinx's new integrated design environment. The first thing that a new Vivado user will notice is that the toolset has been integrated into a single user interface. Although the graphical design of the Vivado tool has been changed, the design flow itself is actually quite similar to that used in ISE. The Vivado design suite includes a full featured text editor with color coded highlighting for VHDL, Verilog, and XDC files, synthesis and implementation tools that have been made faster and more efficient than ISE, a brand new simulator for verifying designs and software, and a hardware manager for conveniently programming bit files to your FPGA. All the features just mentioned are available in the free Webpack version of Avado. You also have the option of bundling your Basis 3 with a Design Edition license, which unlocks the Logic Analyzer tool. To help ease the process of migrating from ISE to Vivado, we've created a tutorial and placed it on the Basis 3 webpage. So that wraps it up for the Basis 3 walk around. The boards will be available September 2014, and we hope you give it a try.